Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jordan from Just Tesla, and today we're gonna see if the new update applies to standard autopilot. Okay, so I'm gonna run the update. So first things first when you're doing the update, if you've not got it set on automatically, go into security and switch sentry mode off. And if we come up here, there was a reminder this morning to do it. Um, and then it's gonna take 25 minutes to install. Inst this is 2028.2. Install now. And that's it, the update's gonna to begin to install. And I'll show you the features as soon as I find out what they are. Um, so here's the release notes from it, what's new in this update. Um, all of this, I'm not gonna run through it because all of this was in the last what's new in this update. So I don't know why it's showing that. I think that this update has got everything to do with autopilot. Um, data sharing, we are working hard to improve autonomous safety features and make self-driving reality for you as soon as possible. In order to do so, we need to collect short video clips of the car's external cameras to recognize. So it's the external cameras, more fleet learning and road conditions we are able to do. The more fleet learning and on of road conditions we are able to do, the better your te Tesla's self-driving ability will be able to, will be able to, ability will become. Sorry, I'm spitting this all out quick. We want to be super clear that these short videos are not linked to your vehicle identification number. In order to protect your privacy, we have ensured that there is no way to search our system for clips associated with your specific vehicle. Separately, if you allow us to collect video clips, Sentry Mode will send a short recorded video clip linked to your VIN to Tesla for temporary backup up to 72 hours when the alarm state is triggered. We may also use this footage to help enhance Detection for sentry mode, please refer to your manual. Um, yes, I do agree to that. I hope everyone else is, is agreeing to that. You can enable or disable the collection of the share data via data sharing and setting controls. So if any time you want to change it, you can. Do you agree to the following? You can change your mind later, yes. So I'm submitting that. I'm gonna turn sentry mode back on and let's see if there's anything in entertainment. Arcade's the same. No new games. I didn't think there would be. Um, and then anything else. Toy box, check toy box, obviously. These are the important things, guys. And there's nothing on there. Okay, so everything really, I'm pretty sure, is in the autopilot. Now, this car has standard autopilot. So auto steer. I've got the full self-driving visualization on. Lane departure. Okay, so I've got no, nothing different in here for me. So I have standard autopilot. Will it stop at traffic lights? Let's go find out. Okay, so here we are in the standard range plus model three with standard autopilot. So no full self driving. And yeah, let's test this out. Let's see if it stops at red lights. So I'm currently in autopilot here and I've got a car in front of me, so the car would have stopped anyway in this situation. So yeah, um, no difference so far. So this is quite a tricky junction and quite a tricky road for the car to navigate. There's a few different merge of lanes here it decides to push itself over to the far left lane, which wasn't too much of a problem. It would have cut somebody up though, if they were driving. So here we go. So I've pulled into this lane by myself, autopilot, so I could see if it stopped at red lights. And it did not. It was trying to fly through them. So I'm gonna have a play around with the settings just to make sure that I've not got anything not activated. Um, but here we go, I'm just gonna test this out as much as possible. So here is the difference. Here is where the difference is gonna be with the full self-driving option in the UK um, and whether it's worth doing. So now the car is becoming more capable of doing city driving. 
So that is obviously quite different from motorway journeys and if a car is fully capable of doing city driving then really we have a case to argue that it's a full self-driving car at that point. Um, again, I wasn't in it then. I think I pulled it out of autopilot a little bit earlier. Um, so I'm still, I'm, I'm not going into autopilot as often as I usually would just because I'm trying to get the settings right in the car first. And I can't see anything different in the settings that suggests that this car is now capable of stopping at red lights. We have the full self-driving visualization already activated. And so I can see the traffic lights in the visuals, but as it stands, it doesn't look like it. So here we go. Full self autopilot activated as a green light so no problems anyway so one thing I was noticing is the visuals look a tiny little bit clearer now I may not have noticed that um, from it just it seems like it's just tracking just our lane but I may not have noticed that from the last update it probably was something that came with the last update and not this update but it was something I noticed obviously I'm being a bit more aware of it and a bit more um, looking into it a little bit more so it was going a bit too close to that curb for me so I had to just take it then and again because I'd taken over the autopilot the um, there was no test to be had at the red light so unfortunately it's not something I could test at the red light but yeah here's it, this is the argument now is like is this worth six seven thousand pounds I think it is it's seven thousand pounds for the full self-driving option in the UK is the fact that it can stop at red lights now worth it? In my opinion, it takes so little effort to press the brake that it wouldn't bother me. I actually like city driving um, and I don't think it would make that much difference to my life. I don't think it's going to make it that much easier until I can press enter in the navigation where I want it to go and let go of everything. There's no point in my opinion. Um, also the thing with it with the UK is that you have to have your hands on the wheel and again it requires so little effort to turn into a lane or to make a turning or to press your foot on the brake that I don't think it's worth buying just yet still just my opinion but I just I don't see the need for it but when you're on those long journeys on the motorway amazing the things unbelievable and you get that for free with the standard autopilot. It's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, at the moment, I don't, I still, this is not going to persuade me to get the full self-driving option until I can take my hands off the wheel. Otherwise, there's no point. So here we go. Uh, green lights all the way through hard to test so yeah I've just gone to a car park here and I've done a hard I've done a hard reset at this point um, so I've done a hard reset so that you just hold the buttons down for 10 seconds and it resets the car just to see if that would make a difference and let's have a look so yeah it's doing 40 when we've got a 30 mile per hour speed change and it, very well the car knows the speed change I think it's down to the GPS and takes us down to 30 which is a lot safer on these roads and for roads like this you know autopilot's fantastic it's really good if you're inclined to use it like this um, you're gonna have no issues and it's it's nice it's comfortable it means you can concentrate it not concentrate less but you can relax a little bit more but again it requires so little effort to to drive in these circumstances that I don't think it's required because your hands are on the wheel um, maybe it's worth using adaptive cruise control so you you've you've got the emergency brake in um, you're not gonna run into the back of anyone basically but because your hands are on the wheel it doesn't make too much of a difference in my opinion so it requires such subtle movements of the wheel that what's what's the point so here we go there's a red light no one was at the red light this is the ultimate test i think you know what let's just go for it hands open hands off the wheel now but let's see what it does we're doing 30 barreling this red light and nah 
It's having none of it. And that's that. And I didn't expect it, to be honest, because we haven't got the full self-driving option. Why would they give that out for free? I am hoping that some fellow um, Tesla YouTuber puts up their full self-driving UK version of the Model 3. And I'm hoping that it does stop at red lights. But yeah, I thought I'd test it without the full self-driving package. That's the car I've got. And I know it's the car that quite a few people have in the UK at the moment. Does it stop? No, it does not. So this is the brand new update. It doesn't stop, but we didn't expect it to, let's be honest, but it's worth a test anyway. So this brings me on to my broader question, and that is, is full self-driving in the UK worth it yet? And in my opinion, that is no, it's not worth it yet. And at what point should you buy full self-driving? And in my opinion, it's not down to Tesla. It's not down to the technology. I think the technology is brilliant. I think the technology is there. It's not got anything to do with Tesla. It's all to do with the government. And we just don't know what the regulations are what they're going to do with regulations whether they're going to relax them whether they're going to change them we don't know and until we get a, a decision and some kind of information on whether they plan on doing autonomous driving in the uk there is no point in purchasing it now i know tesla have spoken about the price going up of the full self-driving option and it probably will and depending on how much those prices increase and depending what sort of information we have to go off the government is how I'm going to make my decisions. I'm at £7,000. If it goes up by a couple of thousand pounds, I'll probably still hold off. Now, if they say it's going to jump a lot, I'm going to do my research into the government and what they are planning to do with autonomous driving and then make a decision. As it stands, we don't actually have any information apart from they're going to do some trials of full self-driving in the near future. Now, trials with manned people in the vehicles. So that sounds so far away from letting cars drive themselves around the city. It just doesn't sound anywhere near to that. So with that being said, we're years behind, in my opinion. Um, these kinds of tests were happening in California years ago. So, unfort and, and they do unmanned tests now. So yeah, unfortunately, it looks like we've got a little bit longer to wait, a few years maybe. Um, if we get an update, I'll consider it. And if the price skyrockets for full self-driving, I might consider it just to bank it in there. But yeah, that is just my opinion. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on it, whether you're deciding to get it or not, and why are you deciding to get it? Is it because the you're worried about the price increases, or is it because you think the government are gonna relax up, or is it because you enjoy the full self-driving as it is right now? In my opinion, the autopilot I've got in my car is so fantastic that the price doesn't warrant me to purchase it just yet. Um, but yeah, this was a lovely little drive, worth a test, and back to the studio. Unfortunately, if you haven't purchased full self-driving option, you don't have uh, the ability to stop at red lights, which I didn't expect, to be honest. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. You've been wonderful, as always. If you're interested in buying a Model 3, use the link in the description. It will get you a thousand free supercharging miles. And yeah, it's something to look forward to in these dark days. Jude, you got anything to say? Yeah. What? Uh. You don't know. Do you like the Model 3? Yeah. Do you like the Tesla? Yes. What, what's your favourite Tesla? Uh, this one. This one. Why do you like this one? Because I love it. It's the best car ever. Yeah. Do you think? Yes. Yes. All right, we're going to go. Um, we're in a car park. And as always, like I said, no exaggeration, I get, I'm in car parks quite a lot. We're going to play some Cuphead. Anyway, adios. Mm -hmm.